Ladies and gentlemen, all the anticipation leads to this moment. Welcome to Extreme Rules. Folks, after all the hype, we finally made it. This is Extreme Rules. We're live, and as you can hear by the roar of this crowd and ready to kick this thing off with style, we are coming to you live, eager to hear... What a way to start the night. An Extreme Rules matchup that will shake the foundations of WWE. Singles match coming up next. We have Finn Balor versus Triple H. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Gonna be good. We have Finn Balor versus Triple H. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. Oh yeah, we are all set for singles action. And you know, this is match of the year potential. Heading toward the ring with a no-nonsense look, that's for sure. Disappoint, I can guarantee you that. You're right about that. Let's get it going. I can't wait to see what happens when the bell rings and these two finally get to go at each other. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in tonight. I'm Michael Cole, and on my left, as always, the incomparable Jerry the King Lawler. But from what I understand, Michael, the standing room only signs went up early for this one. Can you believe I couldn't even get comp tickets for my girlfriends? Uh -huh. This one should be amazing, Michael. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Yeah, and if that count reaches 10, this thing could be over. How about we 
touch on Finn Balor a bit. He has absolutely no problem getting noticed. He's among the most bold superstars there are. I can't wait to see how this one plays out, Michael. Both of these guys look like they refuse to lose here tonight. Well, one thing's for certain. You're never going to overlook him. I mean, not with that type of personality. Oh, the punch connects. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Don't worry about this guy, Michael. It's going to take a lot more to keep him down. It's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. Well, you're not going to win many matches out there. Hmm. Since it's not a false count anywhere match, I'd have to agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, when you look at Triple H, you're looking at someone that has literally accomplished everything there is to accomplish in this business. From winning championships and tournaments to headlining WrestleMania. Boy, you said it, Cole. No one else except the game has also led to dominant factions. Those being Degeneration X and Evolution. Definitely impressive. In a boot to the gut. He's struggling a bit here. Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. Oh, man, he looked incredibly confident coming into this match. Now, not so much. You know, every now and then, it's okay to break from the game plan and take a bold risk. I'm thinking that right now might be one of those times, Michael. When we talk about the career of the game, I think about seeing him as a superstar before I was even a member of this company. Triple H was trying to survive, trying to make a name for himself. Seeing what he's accomplished, I can only imagine how proud his teacher, Kira Kowalski, would be of him today. Triple H, he's got him where he wants it! The total taken on Finn Balor is very apparent right now. Hey, one more time just in case you missed it. He's trying to mangle his face here. I'm sensing a pattern here, Cole. And what would that be? Well, he's going to do the same thing over and over and over. Michael, people refer to Triple H however they choose. Whether you cheer for him or boo him, you can't take anything away from everything he's done. A tip of the crown from one king to another. He's got the arm. Oh, the longer he stays in this, the closer he is to losing the match. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. Triple H is part of an elite group where the mere mention of his name invokes visions of history. His greatest moment in WWE lore might just be at the end of an era match where he, along with The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, are standing together, arm in arm, looking out at the crowd of more than 78,000. I get chills just thinking about it. Man, I do too. And you know, Michael, when you think about it, all the great moments, all the history this man has made, all of them that I've called as a broadcaster, I don't know if anything will top when Triple H returned to WWE after suffering what we thought was a career-ending torn quadriceps injury. What an ovation. January 7th, 2002 in New York City. That was a historic night. When you look at Triple H's career as a whole, he is WWE history. When I think of all his conquests, I can't help but think of WrestleMania 25. Call me old-fashioned, but the man was forced to defend his family and the WWE title. He did both, and that's beyond admirable. That move did it. Now this has gone way past the point of insults and gone right to humiliation. That is right, that was humiliating. Wow, he's still down after that. Really a little showboating going on here. You know, all the great moments we've all talked about from Triple H's heralded career. And Cole, you mentioned the story end of an era match earlier. In the end, it will all be up to the fans to decide. Or that fateful day when Triple H takes his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame. Triple H, he's got him where he wants it!
It hurts just watching it again. Ouch. This should do it right there. I think this thing's over. Two, three. Triple H looked impressive tonight. in that win here tonight. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it in there. Great match. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Not the first time and probably not the last time we'll hear from him. He looks very focused right now and ready to make a point. Let's listen in as he addresses the WWE Universe. Shh. The fans are eating it up. Very well put. All you can say is, point taken. Well, enough with the preliminaries, huh? Enough of the talk, though, folks. Let's do this. The rest of the card should be every bit as good as the last match, too. Singles action coming your way. We have Neville against Randy Orton. Up next, John, we have singles action. Oh, boy. We have Neville against Randy Orton. All right.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Newcastle upon Tyne, weighing in at 194 pounds, Neville! You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. I think it's fair to say that the athleticism on display in this match will be unlike anything we've seen in quite some time. And his opponent, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The Apex Predator takes his slow and deliberate steps towards the ring. Yeah, Cole, and he looks fired up, he looks focused, and he's fixing to lay a beating on somebody. Big match for him tonight, but he certainly looks up for the challenge. Both men entered this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, man, am I ready for this? Both these superstars are going to find out about themselves real quick. Regardless, people will look back on this night and tell stories to their grandkids about it. No love lost between these two. Well, on the topic of Randy Orton here, tell us your thoughts. In your expert opinion, what can the WWE Universe expect to see from him? Could you imagine being Randy Orton's opponent just in there waiting, knowing the Viper can strike at any moment? It's got to be nerve-wracking. Yeah, I look for one of these guys to show he's made of championship material. Notice I didn't say which one. Neville not in a good spot here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. And on top of that, John, these two guys couldn't be any more evenly matched at this point. He's got to be vigilant about not taking any more damage to the neck. Say what you will about Randy Orton, and most people have plenty to say, but there can be no doubt that he is one of the most ruthless performers in WWE. Oh, forget about ruthless, Michael. I'd go so far as to call him merciless. I mean, when we see the Viper get that demented grin on his face and an opponent in a vulnerable position, we know that things are bound to get a little nasty. Just toying with the competition a little. Offensive show by Randy Orton. Every time he has to get up, it takes more and more effort. And if we're going to talk nasty when it comes to Randy Orton, I'll never forget the night on Raw when the Apex Predator gave the Miz one of the worst beatdowns I've ever seen right in front of Miz's parents. That was downright cruel. But Randy seemed to enjoy every last minute of it. I'm not sure. But with a miss like that, I'm wondering if he has something in his eye. Take leg away. This is what happens when someone wants to eradicate their opponent from competition. Yeah, that leg can't stand much more abuse. Hmm. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. It's the way I always used to do it. Well, King, just like you said, the cruelty factor is always high in a Randy Orton match. The Apex Predator hears voices, and I'm not sure what they're saying to him, but I know they're not telling him to play nice in the sandbox. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. It's happening, Cole, right before your very eyes. Neville's plan has got him on a roll here tonight. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. <laughs> You're right about that. You gotta remember what works. Talk about having the living hell beat out of 
of you. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this match. Well, this is certainly bad news for him, but is it the end? Not ready to say that just yet. But John, this guy's such a gamer. You just can't count him out just yet. I love watching these replays. wins. in that win here tonight. Impressive doesn't even begin to describe his performance here tonight, Michael. That was a thing of beauty. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. This is going to be good. It's Curtis Axel against an imposing adversary. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, Curtis Axel. You know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. This guy's a stud. I don't see many losses in his future. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Oh, this is going to be good. The greatest sports entertainment in the world. Well, regardless, the show has begun. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. Yeah, I think this guy's really showboating now. First time for everything, I guess. Maneuver. And that's patented Michael Cole. He's starting to stagger a bit. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. 
Come on, if he can't withstand this, he's in the wrong profession. That's a good point, John. And I'd say this match is about as even as it could get at this point. Misjudge that. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. Not even close. Those body shots, they'll slow you down. We may have discovered his favorite move. You think? He seems to use it often enough. Nicely done. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? The strikes have a little extra on them tonight. He's looking a little weary here. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. I completely agree. If I'm him right now, I'm starting to get a little concerned. Talk about an oversized ego. Huge. Goal. It's almost as big as yours, but I realize you have to be confident to be successful here in the WWE. But this guy is just being ridiculous. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. Oh, this isn't good. And here we see it from this angle. Oh, my gosh. Looks even worse from here. He's setting it up. him out well he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway he probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it we've seen this before yeah i thought we were stuck on a rerun there for a minute on right now curtis axel is visibly bleeding And he touches that one. And he reversed it. Good move there. A move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. I agree, Cole. I mean, this is intentional humiliation. Playing mind games. Yeah. A little intimidation there. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. His chest may be black and blue after this. The human body can only absorb so much of that. And will this be it? It may be. Two, three. And the pinfall gets him the win. Absolutely amazing. We knew he felt he had to win this tonight. I mean, there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is. Perhaps the biggest in his career. I gotta agree with you, Cole. The biggest in his career. Curtis Axel isn't going to earn much respect with losses like that. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next, King. It's the best. It'll be Big E versus Rusev. Man, oh man, what a matchup. I got a feeling the universe will be talking about this for years.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and accompanied by Sasha Banks from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Big E. And if you haven't gotten it yet, you can get your copy of WWE 2K at retailers around the world. Don't worry, I've already gotten mine. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. Superstars look geared up and ready to go. A win here would do wonders for this guy's career. Such emotion here. Yeah, what's going to happen? Misstep and the ambush is foiled. <laughs> yeah, good thing, too. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Another vicious shot with that foreign object. There's the bell, and Big E takes center stage. Well, in these head-to-head -head matchups, you've got no one to rely on but yourself. And that's the way it should be. This is what it is all about right here. You know, it's nights like this that keeps me coming back to the WWE for more and more and more. So what do you think about Big E? Now that he has a manager guiding the way, I can't help but wonder how far he can go. Definitely looking confident in this one-on-one environment. That's a good sign. Oh, both are great athletes, that's for sure. But only one of them can walk away with the win. And to be honest, I don't know which one it'll be. Rusev is known as the Bulgarian Brute. His strength is superhuman, like a supervillain. But it doesn't end there, it starts there. Rusev's athleticism means this 300-pound monster moves like a cat. I don't know if anyone can stop Rusev. Take up. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing, a butt whooping. Rusev reversing it. Incredible. Certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Ooh. Rusev's domineering Ooh. power and unbelievable athleticism is only matched by one other aspect. The Bulgarian Brute's rabid thirst to destroy. This man is trained in sumo and Muay Thai, as well as Greco-Roman wrestling, which means his ability to punish is endless. You're right. Power, speed, the desire for destruction. All of this, along with the ravishing Russian Lana, has resulted in some of the most terrifying moments we've ever seen in WWE. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. This guy's just getting worn out. Tremendous action in this match. Big E making a statement as we speak. We've seen this before. Oh, there's some good contact there by Big E. This match. This is unreal. And there's the reversal from Rusev. That'll leave you seeing stars. And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. One, two, I'd say that's more embarrassing than 
anything else. The finality of this environment is so apparent, King. I don't know about that, but this area is so, so dangerous. Expanding the repertoire with that. Oh my God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Here we go, back inside the ring. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Big E starting to slow down a bit here. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Perhaps more importantly, it's the amount of time he's spending outside the ring. At this point, he might find more success within the ropes. You said it, John. And I'm a little surprised he spent so much time outside the ring thus far. And it's imperative he gets back in the ring right now. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. One. Two. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. They're not holding anything back, and I love it. Three. Watch it, they're right by us. Oh, no, not on the table. Four. Right through the announce table. Well, how much did that hurt both those guys? That was insane. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. We're up to seven. Big E feeling pretty good about himself right now. Nine. Ooh, a little showboating going on here. Inside the ring now. It looked like his whole neck just crumbled there. Maneuvers like that put everybody in danger. No kidding, that's awful. the elbow. Whoa! Don't get up! Oh, Big E taking control! Yeah, and this is about to be over because here comes the big ending! Oh, man. Oh, man. Every time you stand forced like that, it hurts. Very bad. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here's your winner, Big E. Big victory for him here in this one. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put these two back in the ring ASAP. What an amazing match. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. We're moments away from pure chaos. The triple threat match is next. Doesn't get any better than this. It'll be Kofi Kingston taking on two of the toughest competitors the WWE has to offer. This should be one of the greatest matchups ever. Triple Threat Contest is a no disqualification match. Make
making his way to the ring. Representing the New Day from Ghana, West Africa. Weighing in at 212 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston. Here comes Kofi Kingston. Talk about explosions. And that's just his entrance, Michael. This triple threat match can go any way. It's almost too close to call a favorite heading in. And his opponent, first, from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds. Darren Young looks ready for this one tonight, King. Darren Young's always ready for battle, Cole. Three of WWE's most polarizing figures set to square off here in this triple threat match. From Houston, Texas, weighing in at 256 pounds, Booker T. The WWE Universe is on their feet in anticipation for this triple threat matchup. That's because the universe knows that this match is going to be awesome. This triple threat match will be a main event on any show in any arena in any city across this nation. I assure you of that. And here we go, looking in the ring, only one word comes to mind to describe what we can expect from this triple threat match. Classic. Yeah, and in triple threat, only one of these competitors is going to leave the ring happy. Don't take a bathroom break, folks. These triple threat matches can end in a hurry. But hey, this is what we signed up for, didn't we? Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist. Whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. How about we touch on Kofi Kingston a bit? Here we go in this triple threat match. What can he do to get the best of the other two superstars in there? What about the other two in the ring? We're looking at three of the absolute best WWE has to offer. And when you have so much talent in the ring at the same time, it's hard for me to single out just one name. They're all superstars in the truest sense of the word. Flex was picture perfect. Darren Young gathering attention in a hurry. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, no lie. He's wild in there. Kofi's one of the most dynamic athletes in WWE. His athleticism knows no bounds, and neither does his vertical leap. Kingston's sonic boom type of offense is so amazing that he's been given the nickname, the Wildcat. And we all know, Wildcats are fearless. Whoa, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. Kofi Kingston looks stunned by that. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. Come on, you and I both know. Oh my, there's the submission hold. He's in the driver's seat now. Ah! And he escapes the hold. Expanding the repertoire with that move. Oh, look at the emotion. Well, we get to see a lot of amazing things from where we sit. And believe me, when I say there is nothing like seeing Kofi Kingston's athleticism in the ring. Everyone loves it. Well, everyone except Kofi's opponents. He wasted too much time on that one. What a 
does Darren Young need to do now to remain a factor in this match? He doesn't want to let this match get out. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. One, two. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. He's certainly showing us something new from his repertoire. That's cool. I like new stuff. Oh, looking to make a statement here. He's looking at it. Look at this. Back into the ring now. is the largest area on the human body and thus always a target. I know what you mean. You know, I've got a week back. How long did you have that? Well, about a week back. We better be careful. Oh, oh man. man, right on the back of his head. Hey! Booker T into the cover. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Yeah, but I think a little too early in this match for that to be successful. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. Just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Kobe Kingston starting to slip a bit. We're all going to find out what he's made of here in this triple threat match. Ah, sure, he doesn't look great right now, but I'd be surprised if we find out that he doesn't have a little more fight left in him. You know, there are few competitors as loyal as this one, Cole. But whether or not that loyalty will lead to a win, that's a completely different story. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Whoa! This might be it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Come on! Now Kobe Kingston's endurance. Watch it! Shoulders down. One. Two. Back in the ring again. I assure you, that hurts. It could be over here. Yeah, maybe. Two. We've seen some unlikely alliances formed in these type of matches in the past. It'll be interesting to see if we get more of the same here tonight. He's showing no signs of letting up. gentlemen, Booker T. Here's your winner, Booker T. That's coming up big here for two of WWE's best. Few things are more rewarding than the feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. After that, I can't wait for the next time we have an opportunity to call a triple threat match. Single Zaro against Steve Austin. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Lucerne. Now look at this. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh. 
Well, the Swiss sensation is ready, and so are we. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other, and that's going to become clear right about now. Two warriors, two superstars, two immense talents. I love it. Well, guys, I know one thing. This crowd is ready to see what Cesaro can do here tonight. Back into the ring now. Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike. Well, taking a look at Steve Austin, what's the lowdown here? He undoubtedly stands out from the pack with that larger-than-life bold personality of his. Hey, he's a WWE superstar, which means he's among the very best to lace a pair of boots. But does he have what it takes to beat his competition here tonight? That remains to be seen. Hey, if you're not trying to stand out from the crowd, then you might as well just go home. I have no time for you. Well, I've never seen him do that before. What force. I thought the canvas would break. That slam was powered by superhuman strength. Unbelievable. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal has quickly become one of the highlights of WrestleMania. And you're looking at the first man to ever win that epic match, Cesaro. They can't take that away from him. Well, actually, I guess they could take the trophy away from him. Didn't Jack Swagger destroy the next night on Raw? Anyway, they can't take the win away from him, that's for sure. The trophy, that's a different story. How will these guys do with absorbing the punishment they're about to receive out here? Look at the pain on his face after that neck breaker. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Since winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, or more specifically since Mr. McMahon gave him an underwhelming review on the Stone Cold Podcast on WWE Network, Cesaro has been on an absolute tear. Back in the ring again. now inside the ring. Oh, you're right, Cole. Cesaro has been on a tear of late, highlighted by him and Tyson Kidd beating the Usos for the WWE Tag Team titles at the first ever WWE Fastlane. And it's Cesaro executing the reversal. Nice reversal. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. I believe that is the first time tonight we've seen that move. Well, when someone is known as the Swiss Superman like Cesaro, that gives you an idea of the range of superior abilities he possesses. Cesaro's immeasurable power, superb technical skills, and all-consuming physical prowess makes him almost impossible. He thinks he has it. This guy just refuses to quit. Yeah, never say die attitude out of him. He simply refuses to stay down. Steve Austin with good timing here. I don't know if we've seen that from him before. I mean, it's definitely a first tonight. This is great. This guy will try anything. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. King, we talked about Cesaro's incredible skill set and Cesaro's power, technical grappling acumen, and brutal strikes, which were all fueled by one thing, a vicious mean streak to dominate all of his opponents. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Reversal. Cesaro showing his prowess. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. He wants no part of the outside. From the top! Oh my gosh! He might make his opponent tap right here! Great hold being applied. 
Well, Cesaro's blend of strengths, strikes, and grapples are catastrophic for an opponent. He looks to overpower and decimate his adversaries as soon as that bell rings. Cesaro's heartless when it comes to ridding WWE of his competition. You know, Cesaro has an interesting relationship with WWE fans. They cannot stand the way he breaks all the WWE rules, but they love seeing Cesaro's unbelievable feats of physical strength, especially the Cesaro swing. amazing we knew he felt he had to win this tonight i mean there's absolutely no way to underscore how big this victory is perhaps the biggest in his career i gotta agree with you cole the biggest in his career i gotta assure you that that is not how cesaro envisioned this one going guys it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win